If your emails aren't driving sales, sending more won't help. You need a system. A system that moves leads from just curious to ready to buy. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to build that system. Your email marketing funnel from scratch. And make sure to stick around because at the end, I'll walk you through a real life funnel that boosted email revenue by a whopping 127%. Hello and welcome to Mailtrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. Here's how you'll build a funnel for your business needs. Step one, define the customer journey phases. Before you can build an effective email marketing funnel, you need to understand the path your customers take from the moment they discover you to the moment they make a purchase. These steps, also called customer journey phases, are what your email funnel is built on. They help you figure out what to send and when. If you need more info on the stages of the email marketing funnel, check out our dedicated video. Once you understand what stages to include into your email marketing funnel, you need to create lead magnets. A lead magnet is something valuable you offer for free in exchange for someone's email address. Think of an ebook, a checklist, a free trial, a webinar, or even a mini course. The key here is value. Don't just offer something people can easily find online for free. Give them exclusive insights and they'll want to hear more from you. Step three, set up a landing page with an opt-in form if you don't have one. Now that you have a lead magnet, you need a place to showcase it. Landing page is perfect for that. A landing page has one clear goal, to get visitors to sign up. And the best way to get signups is with an opt-in form. It's because it helps filter out people who just want the freebie but have no real interest in your emails. Also, it protects your future email deliverability by making sure you will only send emails to people who genuinely want to hear from you. You can embed the form directly on your landing page, place it inside blog posts, or use it as a pop-up. Wherever it appears, its main job is to capture clear, intentional consent from your audience. The form can include a few extra fields beyond just the email address. Information like location or job title can help you better understand your audience and personalize your emails later on. But don't overdo it. A long questionnaire can scare people away. Step four, write your email sequences. Now that people are signing up, it's time to start the conversation with a well-planned email sequence. Think of these as your automated conversations. You write them once and they work behind the scenes. Start with a welcome sequence. This is your chance to introduce your brand, set expectations and share helpful content. Keep it educational and friendly. You're laying the foundation for a long-term relationship. Next, create a nurture sequence. This is where you provide ongoing value through useful tips, resources, or insights. It keeps your audience engaged and positions you as a trusted expert. Then comes the sales sequence. Here, you make your offer. Use clear call to action, real testimonials, and a sense of urgency, like limited time deals or low stock alerts to encourage conversions. Right now, you might only have one version of emails for all users, but it will change after the next step, which is segment your audience. Once your emails are running, don't treat your entire list the same. Segment your audience based on what they do, like which lead magnet they downloaded, what links they clicked, or what products they browsed. Just remember, too much personalization early on can feel intrusive, so find the balance between being personal and respecting privacy. Modern email marketing platforms let you segment your audience based on many criteria, like location, sign-up source, engagement level, and more. For example, you can create a segment for people who downloaded Guide A, or for those who clicked on Product B. This helps you send the right content to the right people. Someone who downloaded a beginner's guide needs different emails than someone ready to buy. The more relevant your emails feel, the better your engagement and conversion rates. Here's how we segment our audience at MailTrap. Log in and open the Contacts tab. Go to Segments and click on Create a Segment. Let's say I want to create a segment of subscribers who live in the US only. In the new window, I choose the condition, country, and type USA. 
Now, I can see all contacts with the country field set to USA. And all that's left is to save the segment. The sixth and final step is to analyze your funnel and optimize it. Both your offering and your audience will change over time. So should your email marketing funnel. Keep an eye on key metrics like open rate, click-through rate, and conversion rate. These numbers tell you what's working and what's not. Run A-B tests. Try different subject lines, calls to action, texts, or email layouts. But test one thing at a time, so you know what actually made the difference. Track, tweak, repeat. That's how you turn a good funnel into a great one. And now, let's break down a funnel that boosted email revenue by 127%. But before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more expert tips and practical tutorials on all things email. Now, the example. It comes from Alpha Green, an e-commerce brand focused on health and wellness. They set up 12 targeted email flows, and the result? a 127% month-over-month increase in email revenue. Alpha Green used pre-purchase flows like a welcome series, a starter quiz, and abandoned cart emails to guide new leads towards buying. Then, after the purchase, flows like replenishment and win-back helped keep customers coming back. One of the biggest wins? Their segmented welcome series pulled in a 6% conversion rate. This just shows what a well-built email marketing funnel can do. When every stage of the customer journey gets the right message, you don't just get clicks, you get real results. Not every funnel is built the same. Your funnel should reflect the unique needs of your business and your audience. Email marketing funnels are just part of the bigger strategy. Want to know how to build one for your business? Watch this video for practical advice on list building, creating engaging content, and optimizing your email sequences. See you there, folks.